Good morning, everyone. Glenda Mollett here, and I'm live in my craft room this morning with you, creating with some golden oldies, but still current dyes and how to color your ribbon. So while we just wait for people to show up, I'm going to make sure I'm oriented properly. And then, holy mackerel, do I need to tell you why I'm late. First of all, drink. Okay, we are, we are live. We are oriented properly. Sign is a little crooked. Let me straighten things out here while we're waiting. And those of you that are catching me on the replay, Hi, those that are joining me live, hi and welcome. So let's make sure everything is straight because you know I'm anal retentive and I need that. Okay, so my apologies for being late this morning. I, some of you may know and may not know that I, when the world was n normal, <laughs> as normal as it gets, I used to do aerobic e exercises two or three times a week. Well, of course, the aerobic exercises are now all closed. The gyms are closed. And I've been searching for something that I could do online while I'm while we're social distancing. Good morning, Valerie. Thanks for joining me. So last night I discovered that one of my um, aerobics instructors, one of the ones we used to have, is now doing online exercise programs every morning at 9.30. So I signed up and I'm going to be serious about this. I'm going to do it. I've committed myself to at least two and hopefully three times a week. But the issue is she starts at 930 and the workouts are about an hour long. So that's why I am a bit late this morning. Good morning, Carmen. Um, then apparently she does a little bit of nattering at the beginning. So they're still going, finishing up their last exercise. And I had to leave because I wanted to be here. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to watch her recorded videos and do them like a day later, or if I'm going to change my Facebook lives. Good morning, Lena. So tell me what works for you guys. If I was to start at 1045 instead of 10 o'clock, would that be an issue? Would you rather have it in the afternoon? Or do you want to stay the same and I'll just do the exercises the next day? Because she does them by Zoom. <coughs> Excuse me. She does them by Zoom and 90% of the time she remembers to record them. Sorry, just trying to drink because, whoa, talk about Talk about sweating. Yep. I sweated today. Okay, so I want, we're going to create this card using, using some old-ish dyes. So the, the Flourish Thinlet dyes. And I'll take them all out so you can have a look at them because you can't really see through the plastic. So these four plus this makes up the flourish dies. So we're going to use some flowers and some leaves, but there's other leaves and there's things with round dots on them and big flower and this I've used a lot and this I've used a lot. So we're going to use though, they're called the flourish thin dies. We're going to use stitch shapes, the large stitched oval. And did you know <clears throat> there's actually three shapes in here? You get the squares, the circles, and the ovals, and they're all stitched. 
and not only are they all stitched but they coordinate with the layering circles ovals and squares dies so we're going to use these as well so these ones they have the smooth dies morning works better for you morning Jean so there's the smooth dies and then there's the scallop dies so we're going to use one of the smooth ones that layers in there. I want an oval frame. And then I need, <coughs> excuse me, I need the, the oval that's the same size as that stitched because we need to put it in behind. So we'll need that one too. So when I count them, I count from the smallest one. So one, two three four five six seven eight so i'm using five and seven if you're following along so there we go so those are the dies we're using the stamp set we're going to use is um, crafting forever do something creative every day right now i'm thinking about cards that we can send out to um just to say hi to people that we know are have to um, isolate or self social distancing and are living alone and maybe just need somebody to say hi I'm thinking of you so if you've got one that says hello you could work use that too but we're going to do something creative every day that's from crafting forever and if you're making cards um, to sell you need the copyright stamping up stamp and this stamp set has one of those along with all these other images so when you're selling them this one has copyright stamping up and then you just can sign your name underneath it then you're legal because every company that produces stamps has they call it an angel policy and you can sell cards with their image on them as long as you give them credit for the images so we're also going, I needed a flower for the inside. So we're going to use this one from the beautiful bouquet um, stamp set. I don't think I've inked that one up yet. There's this one too. Hmm. Anyways, so that's what we're going to use. We're going to make a bow for the card out of the white um, metallic edged ribbon and we're going to color it. This is um, Highland dark Highland Heather, and this is dark purple posy. Yeah, see, I haven't had my shower yet today, so my finger is still inky from yesterday's playing. So I'm going to put that to the side, and we'll decide what color we want it to be once we got the card created. So need a wisp of white card base, piece of five and a quarter by four for the inside. Then we're going to put a strip of um, purple posy designer paper on it halfway and then we're going to run a strip now I don't know what color that strip is going to be I'm thinking it might be it might be um, gorgeous grape so let me get a, a piece of gorgeous grape out in my, out of my little see my package has all the gorgeous grape pieces in in it so we might do a strip of that or, you know what, we could, there's one of those pop-in moments, we could do this. It's not quite long enough, but it would work, wouldn't it, if we cut, a, cut one of those in gorgeous grape. Okay, we could do that too. Or we could use Highland Heather if we don't want it to go quite so dark. We could do some Highland Heather instead. Or put a Highland Heather and then put this on top of it. Ah ha ha! Could do that too. All right. And then we're going to use, I've got my Whisper White scraps out because I don't know what size I need yet. So let me, so Jean, um, if you, you joined us a bit late, I'm just asking the ladies um, what time would work better for them because I've started an online um, exercise program. And I kind of, and it starts at 9.30, and it's an hour long. So, just wondering if 10.45 works, or if afternoon would be better. 
So I just want to know what you think. I'm just trying to figure out how far across I want that designer paper to go. I think that much. Okay, so that's one two inches. So I'm going to cut a two inch stripe strip of this. And I'm going to use a piece of temporary adhesive on the back just to sit it there. Oh, maybe we want that instead of that. Yeah, we'll put that on. And I'm putting it right to the edge. Now I left this at six inches so I can cut the excess off when we're ready. But I want to like kind of create the card first. So we need to cut the big straight oval. And I forgot to get my machine up, so hang on for one sec. Shut my door while I'm there. My furnace just went on. Because I have my window in my craft room open because, yeah, it was a good workout. The amount that I did, she was, each day she does a different, and today was legs. So I'm going to cut this out. And while I'm at it, add it. See if we can get the other pieces done at the same time. So I need one stitched one. Let's move this over. And we need one smaller. One this is the stitched oval, and we need one small straight oval. I'll just whip those through. Oh. Yeah, we didn't work arms today. Yeah, that was just my plate falling down. We'll be fine. I gotta find it though, because I need it. I was laughing. A friend was telling me when she does her when she does her videos, she has to get up and get things and sometimes the her, people that are watching her um, here crashes and bangs and she has to call out. I'm fine. Oh, you know what I did? Now that was the blonde moment showing through, wasn't it? Okay. Because I cut this, but I want this to cut that out because I, I want a frame. See, I want this like that. So now I have to cut it again. Okay, so I'm cutting it. I could have cut them both at the same time and it would have been a lot easier. But, you know, some things that sometimes it doesn't happen the way you want it to. Okay, so that's what I wanted. So I'm putting, and putting those to the side. I don't need the small one. I need the big one because it's going to go in behind here with the sentiment stamped on it. Like that. Yeah, oops is right. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, Jean, sometimes you just don't want to go there that early in the morning. Okay, so now I want some purple posy cardstock. And apparently I don't have little tiny pieces of purple posy cardstock, so I'm just going to cut a, a strip. Let's figure out how wide we need that strip to be. We need it to be, do it that way, I can get away with an inch and a half. I'll make it an inch and three quarters just so I have enough and we're going to cut where's my little cheat sheet I wrote down how many of each thing we needed need three flowers three of these then where's my Highland Heather we need three of these to go in the center of that and then some purple, some gorgeous grape, and we need three of these. And then we're going to cut some leaves out of the granny apple green. So one of those, three of those, three of those, and this doesn't have to be this wide, I just need it. Now, I'm going to offset these a bit because sometimes when you're die cutting like 
this. The um, the dies don't cut because they're one is a little bit thicker than the other one. So if you offset them like can't see it. If you offset them like this, then the machine's not hitting two at the same time. Um, Jean, it is called Underground Weekend Warrior Workout Warriors. Underground Workout Warriors. And it's just one of the local um, fitness instructors is doing this online fitness thing. She does it six days a week. Um, she also does spin classes. If you've got a, a bike at home, you can do a spin class with her. I don't have a, well, I have a bike, but it's not a stationary bike. It's a go out and ride around the dike bike. Yeah, so Google it. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll send you the link because it is free. And I've been doing exercise. Her name is Sandra Austin. And I've been doing exercises with Sandra now for, oh, since 2006. So 14 years. Wow, it's been a long time. Okay, this is one of the old dies that doesn't release very well. So I think I'm going to have to get some. Yeah, look at that, it ripped. Okay. I'm going to get some parchment paper. Because that one is not coming out. The, some of these old Sizzix dies, they just, they didn't release very good. Which is part of the reason I think Stamping Up stopped working with them. But, a little piece of parchment paper works wonders to release it. So there, we'll just... And once you've got the parchment paper in there, you can usually get two or three cuts out of it. Come on, move down a bit. Thank you. There we are. Okay, let's see what happened to this one. Yeah, so um, I like her workouts. I tried another couple of online ones that came out and yeah, I'm not a fan. I like aerobic workouts. I like, but this one doesn't have any music because she's talking all the time. But if you mute yourself, you can have music going while you're exercising. Hubby and I have been trying to walk every day and that's good, but I want more than just because just walking. I was with his uh, back and um, knee issues. He can't walk as far or as fast as I would like to walk. Yeah, so I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching exercise. But if you want the if you want the link and you can't find it, let me know. Come on. I have release paper somewhere. I just don't know where it is. This, oh, there. That works a lot better than just by it. Try and get it out by itself. Okay. There's one out of the three we need. And ah, uh, yes, MS. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the thing I like about Sandra's is that you can go at your own pace and you do to your ability. And when I, when I did it this morning, I just muted myself. I find. A lot of people don't understand the Zoom etiquette. When you're in Zoom, mute yourself until you need to talk. And if you 
Um, if you're on your computer, all you have to do is hit the space bar and you can talk. You're unmuted. I don't know what it is when you're on a mobile, but you can unmute yourself briefly to, um, to be able to talk. But when you're on a Zoom call, any sound at all is the one that Zoom picks up on. So if you're on a multi-panel, multi-person panel, then if somebody coughs and it's louder than the instructor, it's the cough that you hear, not the instructor. And I find it very distracting. I like to hear what the person is saying because I'm there for that person. I'm not there to to listen to other people have panting and coughing and their dog barking, and kids showing up and screaming. And yeah, it, I've seen all sorts the past couple of weeks. So if you're on a Zoom, just keep yourself muted until you need to talk. It just helps the person doing the instructing um, be a little bit more cohesive. And you're mindful of the other people that are participating. Okay, why am I, why am I doing so much preaching this morning? I still need to cut one more of these. And the, see that the, the um, parchment paper is still in there? So I can do that. One more time. So have you guys been Zooming? I know Carmen has. So if you haven't been Zooming, you need to. Because starting t tomorrow, which is Friday, I am doing an online Zoom Friday drop-in. So I used to, when we could all get together, the last Friday of every month was, um, was Friday drop-in. And if you needed to come and use my tools, or you wanted to come and try something out before you purchased it, or you just wanted to come and have coffee and chat, or have coffee and make a card. Oh, I ripped that one too. Shoot. So tomorrow at, um, yeah, it was going to be at 10 o'clock, but probably 10.45 now. We're going to, no, I've scheduled that one already, so it has to be at 10 o'clock. I've already put up the invitation for it sent it out of my email list. The invitation is um, on my Facebook page. So that way, when you do Zoom and you have a camera on your device, we get to see your face. And sometimes it's nice to see people face to face, especially now. We're not getting any FaceTime. And I'm sorry, people need face to face time. Okay, so I have three dark purples. I have three, that's gorgeous grape. I have three medium purples, which is Highland Heather. And I have three purple posy flowers. Like that. Now, we need, we need some granny apple green. I wanna cut out a few um, leaves. Uh, just to make it go a little faster, I'm going to cut one of these because then I get five of them at the same time and I don't need the stem. But I will put this on there just in case. Just in case we have an issue releasing that. So it has a, um, a single leaf, but yeah, apparently I'm going to be here a long time if I decide to do that. So we'll just, we'll just do this and cut five of them at once. So while I'm doing all this nattering and talking, I'm not paying attention to comments, so let me read them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jean. I don't, I don't like to preach to people. I mean, it's, it's your life. I like to give ideas, not preach. But 
Yeah, so if you can join me tomorrow on Zoom, you don't have to join with your um, your video. You can come anonymously. We can't see your face. You can have you have options. You can have video and sound, or video and sound, or sound and no video, or no video, no sound, and the only way we know you're there is because we get to see a black screen with your name on it. And then if you want to um, talk and you don't have speakers or you don't want to use your speakers, you just write it in the chat area. And you can either write it privately to somebody or to everybody in the group. Face-to-face -face time is important. We're such a social society right now. This is, I feel sorry for people who, well, not sorry. I feel for people who are alone and don't get that face-to-face -face with anybody. And people who live in apartments, especially the ones that don't have a balcony, like how do you get outside? Because in a lot of places, they're, um, they're shut down. They're not allowed to leave except to get groceries. So Jean, how is it where you live? Are you completely shut down and locked down or are you guys allowed to go and do stuff? Where we are um, in Canada, parts of Canada are locked down. But in BC, where I live on the West Coast, we're still allowed to go out. They encourage one person per family to do the shopping once a week. But we're still allowed to go for a walk and um, go for a boat ride, go for a bike ride, stuff like that. We're supposed to be social distancing, which means staying six feet away from people. Which is really difficult when you have grandchildren. It's a good thing that mine are old enough they understand. All right. Let's get rid of some of these pieces here out of the way. Now we got all that done, we can do some assembly. Like that. Here's our card back again. So we're going to do a flower take away the this is the ripped one so let's find the ripped maybe it's not the ripped one okay so we're going to have a flower then we're going to have a center and another flower oh that's good Jean yeah, I was talking to um, we were talking to our doctor on the phone the other day because we needed prescription renewals and that's how they're doing it now. And he said there is no confirmed cases where we live either. Um, which is good. So we're still allowed to go out. That doesn't mean there, it isn't here. It just means that people who um, have it are not necessarily been tested for it because they don't meet those requirements. So we're just going to kind of fill these things in here and there. You see like this. And then we need some leaves. I'm just going to cut them off the stem. Like this. And then we're going to fill in with the leaves here and there. So the sentiment's going to go in there. So we'll do that first. We've already got this attached. All those over there. That over there. At the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that in gorgeous grape, which is the darkest of the three inks the three purples. It says, do something creative every day. 
So let's just try this first before I see if my ink pad has got enough ink. Yep. Okay. So now I've got to lay this on top. Making sure it's kind of centered. And that's going to determine where I do my stamping. Right there. There we go. Right. Now, a little bit of Tombow, so we can put this frame on top there. Tombow's coming out fast today. I have to let it dry a bit. Okay, that and that. Now, the strip. There's that die. I need a longer piece of Highland Heather. Is that long enough? Nope, not quite. Okay, so we need a piece that is this. If we're going to use this, that we need that to be three quarters of an inch. So if I do a three quarters of an inch strip of this, that's just over five and a half. Oh, gee, that's not good. Yeah, they they stopped a lot of that here in Canada. They're telling people to stay home. Okay, so I'm going to attach this now. After I move that so I don't get glue everywhere. There, I just got it. Oh. Okay, needs. I'm running out of tearing tape. Yeah, when we were camping, okay, I'm out of tear and tape. Hang on, gotta get another one. When we were camping on the west coast, they told us all to go home, and then they kind of shut their road off, and they have had um, police and native police barricading blocking the road and you have to have proof that you live in one of the the western the west coast um, communities to get access to them if you don't have a house there don't live there you don't go they're turning you around and telling you to go home and i see their point I think it's necessary because there's so many people out there that are just not getting it. I don't understand how they think that this is all a farce. You wait till they get sick. Man, are they going to be unhappy. All right. There. Do my rabbit ears here so we can get this designer paper on. Yes, I agree. I agree. It's important to keep those things. It's like our oil sands. Got to keep the oil sands working. They have those protesters that are out there. They're protesting the they're protesting this and they're protesting that. Or they're either the um, protesting um, natural gas or oil industry or they're protesting forestry. Like, where do they think 
the paper came comes from to do their signs or the fuel comes from to get them to those points where they're protesting. Okay, I'm just putting it right on the very edge there. And some people need to work. I don't know about you down in the States, but here in Canada, there's a lot of um, COVID relief happening for people who can't work. Either their jobs are shut down or they have family at home or somebody is sick. Or Then there's the ones that are um, home looking after their kids because their spouses are deemed, um, what do they call it? Mandatory workage? No, that's not what they call it. They call it some weird thing. Essential services. So there's a lot of that support happening here in Canada. Now is this humped because I didn't get that piece of... No. Okay, so now... Uh-oh. What's that little piece of mungish stuff there? There we go. Now, do we want this and then this? I'm going to cut this out of Gorgeous Grape and just see. Just see what it looks like. else go are you still out there people are awfully quiet this morning you already left to do your daily chores okay so I have this cut and I'm slowly working it out of the die I may get new dies if this if these dies carry over, I might just get new ones. Those are new ones don't seem to be as hard to get things out of as those ones are. Twenty second we get to find out what is retiring from the catalog. Oh have a good day, Carmen. Thanks for popping in. Okay, so this on the edge like that, with this on top like that. This goes here like this. My frame, I can put the frame on it now. Yeah, it's 10 after 11. There we go, put the frame together. So this is gonna go here. And then we'll have our flowers. I think so, I think we'll do that. Tombo challenge today. There we go. And just lay that on there like that. Hopefully it's straight, not too much. Hold it for a couple of seconds till it grabs. There we are. Some tear and tape on there. No. Yeah. Just looking to see, because I put it up towards the top. Just wanted to make sure I had the top at the top and not at the bottom. Because we're going to put this on there and then I'm going to cut it off to because I made it a bit longer than it needed to be. I always do that with strips when I'm doing them because I don't like that little bit of white showing. Oh, the new catalog. Oh, Lord, the new catalog. Yes, that's 
because one of the perks of being a demonstrator is we get to see the new catalog on the 22nd of April. And I am so excited. There's been speculation from demonstrators of what they hope will be in there, so it's going to be exciting to see exactly what they're giving us. Okay, so I'm lining this up because I want to make sure that I get it straight. How far up does that need to go now? Maybe it can come down a bit more. Sure, right about there. Yeah, new stamps and dyes and papers and the new in colors and oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. There we are. Okay, there's that there. Now let's cut this off. So this will go on. This will be flat. I'm not popping this up. I worked on, yesterday I worked on one of my son's birthday cards. The one that lives up north, I had to send his card already because their birthday is tomorrow. So I think he'll get, I'll recreate this one and he'll get it for Father's Day. So I can't show you guys until after Father's Day, but oh, it's so fun. I'm crooked. Oh my lord. Talk about crooked. Okay. We're going to Hopefully, it's not going to look too bad. Okay, right over top of there like that. And the three big ones. Now, you know what I'll use? I use glue dots to attach these because I'm going to put um, stuff in the center. I'm going to put a rhinestone in the center of these so... I can cover the the glue dot up and this just goes faster see when you're doing glue dots you put your glue dot on to or your piece that you're got the glue dot on put it on there now figure out this one maybe at the top with this this way maybe I'll be able to cover it up with a a leaf or something one I'm just trying, I'm paying attention to where those leaves are sitting. Three. Now these will go over top in the center. Now they're, they're exactly the same, so I want to offset them a bit. Okay. I need a couple more here. Once you get the uh, the die cutting done, it all kind of falls into place. This doesn't take too long to assemble. There we go. Now these ones, I can't do that because they were not going to be covered up in the center by anything so we're just going to use a little bit of Tombow so let those dry till they become glue dots and a little bit of trimming on the leaves so they look a little bit better one two So, are you getting tired of watching me create yet? I sent out my uh, my main newsletter the other day, yesterday I guess, no Tuesday it was. If you want it, you didn't get it, let me know and I will 
email it to you. It just has my online schedule for me and when I'm doing what. I'm going to do those Zoom um, drop-in things every Friday and I'm going to do um, Monday, Tuesday and Thursday Facebook lives and then Wednesday I'm reserving for if I want to have classes or something. Now, while those are drying, let's figure out what color we want the bow to be. Because I can do it white, or we can do it purple posy, or we can do it gorgeous grape. Now remember, these are gorgeous grape, and they're going to go on there somewhere. Kind of. In this area, sort of like that, so they will have it will have some of that. Grape, you like the dark? I was leaning towards that too. Yep. Okay. So you need some dirty paper. Let's use uh, my basket. I was creating yesterday and I have the, the sizes on here. Okay, so then you need the dark, gorgeous grape, or sorry, Highland Heather. Yeah, they don't have gorgeous grape, but Highland Heather gives us a nice dark color. And then the brush tip, and all you do, can you see? Let me move these up a bit. I want you to be able to see this. Okay. All right. So you take the brush end of the marker and just do this. Sometimes it gives you that nice streaky look, and I love that. But don't play with it too much because, like, don't try to fill in those gaps because the, um, the pen keeps moving. The color keeps moving after you're done. You can see that streaky in there? If you don't like it, just go over top of it. So there you go. That's how how difficult it is to do color your ribbon. Yeah. So I don't know whether this ribbon is going to be on the retiring list or not. Man, I hope not because I use it a lot. But if you haven't got some, get some before the 22nd. Because you can do it any color you want. Okay, then I'm going to make a bow out of it. Okay, can you see? Am I in the frame? There you go. Okay, you take, you hold on to one goal post. It goes around both goal posts. Un Oops, I'm trying to lift it up so you can see. Underneath my hand. <laughs> my goal posts are falling out of the holes. Underneath my hand. And then, come on, come up a bit so I can do it properly. And then up between the goal posts, underneath, back through the goal posts, and then back through the middle like that. I think it's time for me to get Hubby to make me a new um, base because the holes are getting out of control. I'm just making sure my my loops are spread out. And with this, you have to play with it and make it the way you want it to look before you take it off, or you cannot, you cannot change it once it's oh, glue everywhere. So that's going to go over here. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so that's one of those on. We'll just kind of stick this one in here like that. And I think up here kind of needs to be up there. Trying to place it kind of not going to fit in there. Okay, so it's going to go underneath that flower like that. Now let's 
fill in some leaves. One. One in here. Three. Four. You can put them underneath the oval too. Isn't this pretty? Don't you just love these colors together? I do. I do. Purple and granny apple green. Doesn't matter what purple. And one down here. Like that. Look, just look at that. Okay, we need something in the center. We do. What about noble peacock on rhinestones? Let's see what color we got in them. Got the dark purple. Ho ho! See, we're covering up that glue dot that was in the center there. I have a loose one. I'm just going to pick it up and put it back where it's supposed to be. Voila! You know what we could have done is we could have um, cut this in half. Let's see if it'll pull up and moved it down a bit. Don't you hate it how I do this after things are all put together? I change my mind. So I'm just going to snip that. And we can just bring it down so that it comes right to the edge. Aha! Yeah, it would have been smart if I had it done this before I put the oval on. That looks better. Maybe even... There we go. Well... <laughs> Smarty pants. Thanks, Jean. I I like it. Now, let's trim the ends of this bow. Because I don't want it to be a long bow. I want it to be a short bow. With that little bit of silver on there. Now, we can put it this way. Or we can put it this way. No, it needs to go this way. I don't like how this is poking up here either. I want that to be down. Maybe I'll just... There. Now, glue dot. Hello, glue dots. Where are you today? There we are. One glue dot on the back of the... Oh, I just put the glue dot on the front of the bow. Oh, good lord, mullet. What are you thinking? Yeah. There's definitely a right and a right side and a wrong side to these bows, and I just put the glue dot on the wrong side. Okay, glue dot. Put it right there, like that. And my apologies for my hands. I hate watching videos with dirty fingernails, but I just I wanted to exercise before I um, before I had my shower. Okay, did I, have I told you guys about this before? This piece, little piece of ribbon or string that I keep on here. So stamping up 
um, glue dots unravel this way and the glue dots are here. So you always have to have the, the liner over top of the glue dots so they don't stick to your box. So if you take a scrap of ribbon or twine or something and just tie a knot or a bow over top like this, not works too. I use I use a bow so that I can move it or put it on the next one. And then when you're unraveling it, you just do this and see how it moves. And then when you want to secure it again, you just slide it back like that. And there, your glue dots will not stick to your box when you put your box in. Tip of the day. There we go. Okay, put that over there. Need to stamp this. Now, I got this spray of flowers and I think I think we'll use Highland Heather on the inside I didn't get an envelope out oh well so I'm just going to stamp these flowers up the side of the card like that envelope do the same thing and because we can it's our envelope we can stamp the back too Sometimes we forget that those, the flaps need some love. And now we'll put it... Must be getting close to lunchtime. Hubby just came in. Either that or it's coffee time. Yeah, twist tie would work too. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of ribbon in my craft room. And I don't, when the catalog is over, I keep the retired ribbon so I can pretty up um, packages of, like when I do a class and the class fee includes a bundle, then I make it all pretty with some ribbon and in a little plastic bag and it looks really cute. That way, not only do they get the bundle and the class and the kits, they get some ribbon to use too. Retired ribbon is good. There you go. How about that? I know just who I'm going to send this one to. We know how you... Oh, yeah, if you watched me. So I brought that card. Remember yesterday we were playing with um, the pigment sprinkles and I said we were doing a pigment sprinkle class. So this is the card that I created from the pieces that I made with the pigment sprinkles. Doesn't that look like Aurora Borealis in the background? So it's um, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green and some of the gorgeous grape. <sighs> So you will get a kit to make that if you decide to take the, the class with me and add the kit on. So I think that's it. Thanks, Val. I appreciate you guys putting up with my delays today. I think I'll stick to the 10 o'clock time slot and I will do exercises a day behind everybody else. So tomorrow morning, it's Zoom time. And I've already put the invitation with the link up on my um, Facebook page. And I've emailed it to everybody who's on my email list. If you would like me to email it to you, just let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day in this gorgeous sunshine again. Oh, thanks, Valerie. Thanks, Jean. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Um... Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.